cloud garage in this session i am going to talk about as part of this step by step open shift to 4.x deployment process so one of the key point in implementation procedure is we have to generate a key pair on our OpenShift helper node. The, so the question is how to generate a key pair for the OpenShift cluster nodes SSH access. OK, so in our lab environment, uh, we are going to install Red Hat OpenShift and we are running with the vSPA and the Nimble Shared Storage and ESX is running on Synergy compute nodes. OK, and let's quickly recap our solution architecture and Red Hat OpenShift 4.x on vSPA. So we already verified in our previous session all the pre-implementation steps. And uh, apart from pre-implementation steps, within our Red Hat helper VM, uh, OCP helper node, we have to establish a trust between the vCenter server and also the Red Hat website, that means public site. And even during the uh, downloading the Red Hat OpenShift installer also, when you log into our lab system, see when we are planning to download uh, just a second sorry let me close the unnecessary wizards and once i connect to our demo system see we have a when we are planning to download a openshift installer there is a pull secret is available this is the public key we can download or copy and paste it during the installation definitely we need a this public key and similarly, if you want to generate a key pair between our OpenShift helper node and also our master and worker nodes, we should have a map with our private key with public key. Both should be handshake. So then only we can able to authenticate through SSH password free authentication. And not only for the, uh, this is helpful for the only, helper node specifically to communicate to our Red Hat public website and also the communicate between master nodes and worker nodes. That is the reason we are generating the SSH private key. And later on, I will also show you we should have a trust between vCenter server in our helper node because these VMs are going to provision through vCenter server. So that's the reason. Uh, the second stage, I will show you how we can uh, download the certificates from vCenter and establish a trust between vCenter and helper node okay but in this session i'm just focusing on key pair between the mainly on the helper node between open shift cluster nodes okay so pre-implementation steps now we are already familiar with the pre-implementation steps now let's start with the how to generate a key pair for a open shift cluster nodes ssh access so for this one the command is ssh hyphen keychain command we have to run it on our ocp helper vm so log into our ocp helper vm let's say our helper vm is connected so let me clear the screen and the command is ssh hyphen keychain this is only the command to generate the key. See, it says generating public private RSA key pair. Okay, so enter the in which save the key. It's already by default, it is storing under this slash root directory. So we can go with the default options and the paraphrase also, we can go with the default option. Okay, so now if you see that your identification has been saved in slash root directory dot SSH. Okay. So it is successfully key is generated. Key pair is completed. We already generated the key pair. Now to validate this one, we have to use the command ls space hyphen l. When you type ls space hyphen l, it is showing only the list. Let's say you can type hyphen al command. So now we can see dot ssh option is showing. Okay. So let me see some more dot ssh. And when you type ls space hyphen al, we can see there is a id underscore rsa, id underscore rsp pub. Okay, so all the SSH authentication files are already generated under dot SSH folder or directory. Okay, so this point is clear. So the command is SSH hyphen keychain. And another one, why are we generating the key pair for the OpenShift cluster node SSH access? The main thing is password free authentication. I'm, let me elaborate the same question. 
See, we must provide an SSH publicly during an open shift or open shift container platform installation. Even during download itself, official Ready Hide website is providing a SSH pull secret key. Okay, the key is passed to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux Core OS in short form RHC OS nodes through their Ignition config files and is used to authenticate SSH access to the nodes. Okay, and the key is added to the dot SSH authorized keys list for the core user on each node. Each node means all the master node and worker node, which enables passwordless authentication. Okay, and after the key is passed to the nodes, we can use a key pair to SSH into the RHC OS nodes as the user core. Okay, so to access the nodes through SSH, the private key identify must be managed. So that is the reason only we generated the key by SSH for our local users. Okay, hope you got the point on how to generate a key pair for the OpenShift cluster node SSH access. Okay, and now, as part of the Red Hat OpenShift deployment implementation procedure, we just now completed the first step, generating a key pair for OpenShift cluster node SSH access. And in the next session, I will show you how we are going to generate a vCenter root CA certificate to OpenShift helper VM to establish trust. Okay, this point we'll talk about in the next session. Once this point is completed, we are good to install the OpenShift installer or OpenShift cluster is good to install. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.